Hey guys, so Peller back with another video. Today I'll be looking at the TCR and comparing it to the Trek Amanda. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. This comparison was actually a recommendation from one of my viewers, so thank you for the topic. I'm very excited to make this video. And the reason why I'm so excited is because actually one of my teammates that I did a lot of my riding when I was a junior, uh, he actually rode himself in a Monda, a Trek Amanda. So I had some experience on the bike and now I think it would be the perfect time to compare the TCR to the Amanda. Now before I do, I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone that's been subscribing and liking the videos. I know I say this all the time and I do apologize if you do want to see the comparison I'm holding it up, but just please listen. Uh, with all the support that I've been getting recently, the channel's been growing. We're almost at 400 subscribers, so I just want to say a big thank you. The reason why I always uh, make sure to always iterate to subscribe and like the video and to follow me on Strava and Instagram, links in the description below, is because with the support of you guys and the channel growing, we'll get these brands to send us uh, the bikes to actually compare. I write a lot. I don't say that to be boastful or to toot my own horn, but uh, you know, just because I see there's a big lack of actual real world testing with bikes uh, on YouTube in specific. I want to fill that void in and actually get these bikes ridden, not just tell you the specs, uh, actually get some good ride quality and tell you from a real rider's perspective uh, that, you know, races and does a lot of riding uh, where I find the strengths or the disadvantages in these bikes and give you guys a fair um, review, which would help you guys make informed purchases because I myself being uh, a consumer, have had struggles in the past when I would buy my own equipment. So I really want to fill that void in. And I know a lot of you guys reciprocate that need. And that's why you guys do support the channel. So I just want to say a big thank you. And if you can, you know, like the video, subscribe, uh, follow me on Instagram and Strava. It's just going to help this channel grow and the content for you guys. Uh, and just know also that the bike comparisons are not the only things I'm gonna plan on doing on my channel in terms of cycling. I have training tips, uh, some Zwift content. I love ultra content coming when the weather gets better, uh, a tons of stuff. So just stay tuned, stay locked and loaded, and let's officially look at the comparison now. So if you can't tell already, I'm already wearing a hat, which means I didn't get a haircut. So I guess I'm stuck with quarantine hair, but we are currently on the TCR uh, Advanced Pro One Disc 2021 edition. So a really nice bike that's come out. I actually made a video why I think this is the best complete uh, bang for your buck, best value race bike of 2021. So if you guys do want to check that video, what it is on my channel, and we're going to be comparing it to the Amanda SL Disc Pro. So we'll make that comparison first, and then I'm actually going to compare two other models of the TCR and the Amanda just to show you the comparison in terms of what you get in terms of value. So that's the whole goal of these videos is to make them concise, make them clear, and just give you guys a better understanding. So we'll look at the specs first for the TCR Advanced Pro 1 Disc. It's a full carbon fiber uh, frame and fork along with carbon uh, rims, which are Giants SLR1 rims, and it's a full hydraulic uh, Altegra group set uh, with a dual-sided power meter. Now, that's the thing I love about Giant bikes is that you, for the value, for 4,300 USD, you get a dual-sided power meter and pretty much everything you would ex expect on a very, uh, you know, good value race bike. So carbon frame, carbon fork, carbon rims, and Altegra. Now, let's see if there's any other specs that I left out just off the top. Uh, these uh, rims that are carbon fiber, they're also tubeless and they do come at 28 millimeters. So one thing I also like about uh, the new uh, 2021 TCR is that the tire clearance is wider. So it's a lot more comfortable if you do want to run wider tires. I myself have just raced. I started racing with 23s and then went to 25s and I find 25s pretty comfortable, but I would love to experiment and see how 28 millimeter feel. But I guess um, on the rim, it's 25 Cs which is interesting. So I guess the profile of how the rim is shaped maybe makes it a 25 millimeter, what the equivalent of a 25 millimeter is. I would have to get my hands on that and actually see it. Uh, you get an Altegra 1130 on the rear and um, you get a semi-compact 5236 uh, Altegra crank set. So that means the crank set is a semi-compact, which I find is really good for racing. You'd still be fine on a compact crank, uh, just, I guess, semi-compact is just the all-around for people that are super strong or people that are just getting stronger for racing. So, very well specced out bike for a race bike, and that's basically the TCR Advanced Pro 1 disc. Now, let's compare that to the Amanda SL6 Disc Pro 2020. Um, so, this is retailing for $4,000, guys, and it's basically very similar to what you get, but you don't get one thing. I'm going to get into that. So, right off the bat... We'll look at some pictures just so you guys can see the bike in a little bit more detail. Now, quickly, I do have to make this note is which bike do you find more aesthetically pleasing? Do you find the Giant looking better or do you find the Trek looking better? Now, the Amanda actually, 
I just don't like the shape of it. Now, Giant just does a way better job with the accents. It's like such a more aesthetically pleasing bike. Now, I know aesthetics is only part of the bike. We care about how it performs, but please comment what you guys like in terms of aesthetics. Do you like the Giant TCR uh, black and white or do you like the Trek uh, black and white? I, I myself have to go with Giant, even though I do ride Giant. Uh, in this situation, if the Trek was nicer, then I would have to go with Trek. But let's look at the specs that you get on the Trek. So from what I can see, the frame is car carbon fiber along with the fork. So that's comparable. Now the front and rear wheel are carbon uh, wheels made by Bontrager, which is a subsidiary brand of uh, Trek. So those are, those are pretty shallow rims from what I can see. Yeah, they're pretty shallow rims. Um, and uh, everything else is pretty much very similar. You get uh, all uh, Altegra, um, Altegra hydraulic uh, group set. A lot. I just want to see. I'm just trying to find um, the gear ratio. So the rear is at probably 1130. Uh, it says 30 tooth max cog. And then depending on what size, um, what size of the bike, or I guess you can choose different size cranks. Let me see. Or I, I think it's depending on the frame they put different crank sets, but um, very interesting. Yeah, so depending on, or no, they all have 5034. So my apologies, it's all a compact crank, which is nice to see for gear for gear ratio. So, you know, they made it, these are both technically climbing bikes. So it's very good to see that they put good gear ratios on it. And uh, so let's, let's give the comparison now in terms of what I would choose, right? So in terms of aesthetics, I would have to give it to the Giant for the TCR Advanced Pro 1 disc. It looks nicer. I like the aero flares. There's no aero flares here. So you can see here, there's no there's no uh, tubing. The tubing's totally, they took um, Giant's aero bike and they added a lot of the characteristics that work on their aero bike and made it into their all around climbing slash uh, all around bike. Where on the Amanda, Trek Amanda, you don't see that. So it's very standard to what you would get on a super lightweight uh, climbing bike, um, which I don't really like because I find like the majority of riders, they're not doing a lot of climbing. It's either rolling flats, obviously depending on where you live, but majority of the time you're going to do rolling flats, fast group rides, um, where, you know, climbing, you're not climbing mountains usually. Unless you live there, then you're really blessed because majority of people, especially in North America, we don't have mountains, right? Unless you live in California or um, some nice parts of uh, Utah or, um, you know, Boulder, Colorado, those places you can climb, but you know, for majority of places it's relatively flat. So uh, that's why I like the TCR. Now in terms of value, this is 4,300. Now this is uh, 4,000. Now one thing, you know, that, you know, a lot of people would be like, well, you're saving $300 with the Trekamondo. So why not go with that one? But what you're not getting is a dual side power meter. And just so you guys know, a dual side power meter roughly retails for a thousand dollars. So you're, tr you're truly getting this bike um, in terms of this, to, to make this Trek Amanda equivalent to the TCR, you would have to buy a power meter, which would be roughly for dual sided Altegra, a thousand dollars. So this bike would be uh, $5,000 and this one's 4,300. So in that comparison, you're saving $700. And even if you don't want to buy a power meter, that just wouldn't make sense. Why for an extra $300, you would have power meter. And if you're willing to spend $4,000 on the bike, which I would say is more, more than enough on a bike, especially, um, if you're just looking for fitness, but if you're training, you're racing, uh, and you're using power or you're using a cycling computer, why wouldn't you want to have power? Power is only going to make you stronger. That's basically how every serious, uh, cyclist trains with, even if you're not racing, if you just want to get fitter, you should be training with a cycling computer and have a, you know, the ability to connect it to power. So just for value, $300, you get a dual side power meter. Uh, in my opinion, that's a no brainer. Um, also, I don't like what the head tube situation is going on here. If we can get a better look at that, it just looks very weirdly shaped. I myself have had a good experience on uh, the giant TCR head tubes. And also on the rear, you can see that they do something in terms of carbon layout. Um, I know some people are going to comment and say this is uh, Trex 500. They have this weird thing. My teammate always talked about it. It was the 500 series, like they have different layering of carbon and I guess SL might stand for super light in this situation because what we do see is it's very similar to giant how they have uh, this part one piece where here that one piece kind of, you know, it's lowered down in terms of where the seat post go in, goes in where on this part you can see it's a lot higher up. So it's kind of like one piece, the whole frame and then the seat post sits in. Um, then again, I'm not an expert with, with the Trek 
uh, Amanda, I would have to get the, the bike in hand and that's why through these videos we are going to get that so I can make even more thorough videos but I'm just trying to work with the best I have so you know be gentle on me in the comments if I do make any slight mistakes um, but other than that you know for I don't want to ramble for this for these models but um, even if this is a better carbon layout uh, it's not going to be significantly different right I've ridden the Amanda I've ridden tons of expensive road bikes and at the core of it you know it's very um, when you get to the nitty gritty, especially when you're comparing bikes, uh, you won't really t feel the difference. At least that's what I found um, in terms of my riding experience is that I've ridden Specialized, I've ridden Trek, I've ridden Giant. And at the core of it, yes, some some key characteristics change between bikes. I'm not trying to say there aren't uh, aspects that make a bike better when compared to another one. Uh, but just in general, usually, you know, unless you're going into top tier racing, just for overall riding experience, they're gonna be relatively very similar. And in that situation, I always go for best value. So that's why I would have to give it to the TCR Advanced Pro 1 disc. But I would love to make a video uh, actually comparing both of them. And I'm always, with any other video that you guys see on my channel, you know, I have my, um, you know, opinions and thoughts, but I'm always willing to change if in reality, it's completely uh, different from what I originally thought. And that's only going to happen when I test these bikes in person. So that's why supporting the channel is so important. Now, let's compare a cheaper model of the TCR and of the Amanda and see the differences between both. So we're going to look first at the TCR Advance 1 Plus Disc Pro Compact. So what this bike is so cool is that this is the first time I've seen at this price range where I guess this is the way of giant coming out with a race bike or a high performance bike, but trying to save some money if you don't want the dual side power meter, which is very interesting. So for 3,200 USD, you're basically getting similar frames, a carbon fiber frame fork. Now you're getting probably a little bit heavier, cheaper carbon rims, but they are carbon. These are, these are giant SLR2 42 millimeter carbon disc wheel set, which is amazing to see. So the only thing that's different from this TCR and the TCR we just looked at is that this TCR doesn't have a dual side power meter and this crank set is a cheaper Shimano crank set. Um, it is not, see Shimano RS510, it is not an Altegra crank set. Now I don't like that, but then again, that's why the price is that low because they made that adjustment. You can also see uh, the rims, uh, not the rims, sorry. Uh, the rotors are different along with probably um, maybe the brake calipers as well. Um, they say Shimano Tiger hydraulic, so I think it's just the calipers are different. So this is way more of a budget bike, which probably is because of the, the rims being the SLR 2s instead of the SLR 1s, uh, which is great to see because that's a great value, especially if um, you might have a single sided power meter uh, laying around and you don't want to spend the extra money for the better rims. Uh, this is great. Now, when we compare this model of the TCR to the Amanda SL6 disc for basically the same price, okay, this one is around... Uh, you know, $850 cheap. Um, no, sorry, not $850 cheaper. It is uh, $50 cheaper. You don't get carbon rims. So let's look down, guys. So let's look at the rims. And it says right here, I don't like how, how much stuff there is. It's like, it should be a lot easier. Like here you see, you see right away pretty much the spec. So Trek, I don't like your layout. Um, in terms of the front wheel and rear wheel, these are the Bond Traeger uh, Paradigm Disc Tubeless Ready. Uh, but they're not carbon, and from what I researched, they're not carbon. So, um, pretty unfortunate. That's what the bike looks like. So, you get you get the Altegra crank, which, like I said, if it doesn't have power, then I'd rather have an unbranded Shimano at that point. And i rather have carbon rims. So, like, basically, guys, you know, carbon rims, the, these carbon rims are pr probably, in terms of performance, like, I haven't ridden the new SLR2s, because these are brand new 2021s. But those rims are probably way better than these rims. And on top of that, you know, you're getting a cheaper crank, but I rather have the wheels. I feel like the wheels are way, way more important than the crank, right? Like this, this crank, I've had experience on it. It's not that terrible compared to the Altegra crank, uh, but wheels make a big difference for overall ride quality because those are the only parts of the bike that are actually coming in contact. So just from looking at that, yet again, I would have to say for value, it's a no brainer. I'm going with the TCR Advance One Disc Pro Compact. I'm very open minded. I would love to get both these bikes and really test, uh, you know, the the Trek Amanda versus the TCR, and maybe have my uh, opinions uh, changed. You can also see here. I, I have to be uh, transparent. Uh, these rotors are uh, 
lesser quality compared to the Altegra rotors that we have here. But like I said, I rather get this bike for 3200, have the carbon rims that I don't need to upgrade because there's not going to be a significant difference in terms of quality from the SR2s compared to the SR1s and compared to the rims that you get on the Amanda SL6 Disc Pro. So you get the carbon rims that you won't need to upgrade. And I probably, uh, with the money that you know that you would have had to spend here to get a single-sided power meter in carbon rims on the TCR Advance 2, or sorry, Advance 1 Plus Disc Pro Com. I don't know why they name it like that. You would all, long story short, with this bike, $3,200 USD, I'd buy a single-sided power meter. I'd keep the rims and you would still save money if you had to do the same. If you had to buy a single-sided power meter and carbon rims on this, it would be more expensive after with the Amondo than the TCR. I rest my case, giant best bang for the buck, um, always. So if you guys did enjoy the comparison, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Uh, you know, I'm not getting sick of these videos. I love putting out content for you guys, but I want the channel to grow. I want to get these bikes. I'm itching to get outside, guys. Like, I've been on the trainer. This is a little right now off topic. I've been on the trainer all year. I want to get outside. I want to, you know, get riding, uh, you know, every day. So if we get these bikes in hand, look, look out. The content's going to be coming. It's going to be better. Uh, probably the best you'll see on YouTube. That's the whole goal. I know that's pretty uh, ambitious to say, but I have a high uh, desire to make very good content for you guys. So please support the channel. And until the next one, keep pedaling.